All right, Marble Garden. Which I think this is the first place you can actually get the Electro Shield, which also gives you a double jump. Obviously, it will protect you against electric attacks. And as you can see, it's also a ring magnet. Which, once we have all the Chaos Emeralds and can become supersonic, it becomes the uh, most valuable shield in the game. Because Supersonic is constantly draining your rings, and the Electro Shield, as a ring magnet, is constantly replenishing your rings. As long as you can find them around. Yeah, I'm so happy to finally have a new audio interface. Like, I used to use a, like, a Behringer, I think it was called a Xeno 120 USB mixer. Which, I mean, it, it did the job. But its primary function is to be an audio mixer, not an audio interface. It did have that as a secondary capability. And at the time, it was the best device for what we needed because that was purchased back in the Tri Triforce of Chaos days. And we needed something that could run multiple mics because not only... Did I need to be recorded? But I mean, obviously, Aaron needed to be recorded too. And I think in the very beginning, like maybe the first first two or three Let's Play Minecraft episodes, we might have shared a mic. I know in the very first video we did, which was that top five or top ten countdown of our favorite video games, we most definitely shared one mic there, and pretty sure you can tell, but I never, I never wanted us to have to share a mic from a production standpoint. And it just so happened that that mixer had the capability to run four condenser mics and could provide phantom power to all four of them with the addition of adding like, I think it was six more um, microphones that use just like the standard instrument cable plug-in you know the quarter inch jack in case we ever did like a like a large actual get together big group thing for like extra life or something of course that never happened because we uh parted ways which I will still one day talk about god damn it motherfucker Hell? 
that seems a little fucked up with the game design. That wall can only be broken by the fucking spinny top thing. Peaches? Aw, oh, shit. One of those tubes has, like, five ring boxes at the bottom of it. I thought that was it. My bad! bounce off of those spikes, so that was weird. Good timing. The little scream and the music almost made it seem like it was coming from the mini boss. All right, I think I know where. A special stage ring is in this level. Hopefully I won't fuck it up again. Order was something over there. Nothing there. All right, let's fucking do this. You know, not this part out first. I don't have to worry about trying to do it while it's sped up. happening. Oh, what's with the fucking lag, man? Why is there lag on the Xbox One? You telling me that this system can't handle a fucking game from like 94? Or whenever this came out? 
Paul, and we have just enough rings. Yep, didn't get to show it off or talk about it in Sonic 2, but in Sonic 2, as soon as you have 50 rings, the next time you I gotta go faster, keep up the pace, just to stay no like human race. I could go super Sonic. Oh, saved it. In Sonic 3, they changed that, obviously. God damn, I can't fucking control them. By making it to where you have to hit the jump button a second time while you're in the air. Also, you'll notice that some sprites like that were never replaced with supersonic sprites. So it's a little little glaring at some points. Hell yeah. Even though the spikes won't hurt me, being crushed would have. Shit, I'm gonna die. Nah, just kidding. This is the only time you're gonna see Tails in this playthrough. He automatically shows up as part of the boss battle. I was really trying to, to kill him before we even got into this part. 